Well, first of all, it's important to understand that only a handful of cities ever had handgun bans. And in fact, at the time of this decision yesterday, the only two cities remaining with handgun bans were the very cities before the court, and that was Chicago and a Chicago sub uh, suburb called Oak Park. So there are no other handgun bans that are directly uh, threatened by this uh, decision. However, of course, it could have implications for other gun laws that don't go so far as banning handguns. But it's important to also understand that the right that was recognized in the Heller case is a very narrow right. Um, the Heller uh, majority described the right as the right of law-abiding, responsible citizens to use def arms in defense of hearth and home. Now, you, uh, you'll recognize that uh, that confines the right to guns in the home. Uh, it, it, it's not a right to carry guns outside the home. It's not a right to carry concealed weapons at all. It also confines the right to law-abiding, responsible citizens. Uh, it's not a right for criminals to have guns. It's not a right for irresponsible citizens uh, to have guns. And the Heller majority also went further uh, to indicate that even that narrow right is not at all absolute. Uh, it said that there, it is not a right to keep and carry any weapon whatsoever, in any manner whatsoever, and for whatever purpose. Um, and actually, the Heller uh, majority went even further to say that nothing in our opinion should be even taken to cast doubt on broad categories of existing gun laws uh, that fall short of a handgun ban. And it mentioned such laws as, as those imposing conditions on the sale of guns, uh, those barring guns in sensitive places like schools and government buildings, laws uh, uh, barring the possession of certain kinds of particularly dangerous and unusual guns, um, uh, safe storage laws to designed to prevent accidents in the home, prohibitions on concealed carry of guns, uh, and it even said that that list of presumptively legal laws is not exhaustive at all. And so that's very reassuring language that was articulated by the court two years ago in Heller, suggesting that although handgun bans may be unconstitutional, a full range of other kinds of gun regulations to keep guns out of the hands of dangerous people are still presumptively constitutional, even under the Heller ruling. Uh, now, there is no doubt that there will be, as Justice Stevens' dissent predicted, an avalanche of new legal challenges to gun laws uh, in the wake of the McDonald case. Um, some of those lawsuits will be brought by the gun lobby and gun rights groups. Most of them will be legal challenges brought by criminal defendants who are seeking to get out from under indictments or, or convictions uh, under our current state and local gun laws. And I can assure you that Brady Center lawyers will be participating in the major cases. We will be filing friend of the court briefs, uh, defending sensible gun laws at the state and local level. But I also have to tell you we are, uh, uh, in the final analysis, very optimistic about uh, uh, being able to, to successfully defend those laws. Um, just as the language in the Heller case uh, about uh, gun regulation has assured the continued constitutionality of federal gun laws. We think that the court's reiteration of that language in the McDonald case will serve to protect uh, virtually all state and local gun laws. That's not to say there won't be tough fights. There will be pitched battles in courtrooms from coast to coast uh, as these laws are challenged. Um, but we think that when the constitutional dust settles, those laws will remain on the books. And over time, we hope that it will be increasingly difficult for the NRA to perpetuate this myth that reasonable gun regulations like background checks, uh, safety features on guns, uh, training for uh, 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 gun, gun purchasers, uh, limitations on the number of guns you can buy to cut down on gun trafficking, those kinds of reasonable restrictions, it'll be more difficult for the NRA to argue that they are somehow inconsistent with our constitutional values in the light of McDonald and Heller.